at Vanderbilt, we have um, tried to move away from seeing students merely as consumers, but also as producers of knowledge with faculty. High impact practices as stated in various reports by uh, higher education advocates in the United States, such as the American Association for Colleges and Universities, um, and a lot of the research on teaching and learning supports the evidence that these are indeed good teaching practices. A students as producer model, I think, embraces more high impact teaching practices that ask students to have more autonomy over their education and work collaboratively with one another and with faculty to produce um, goals and um, the assessment strategies for reaching those goals. Um, so um, it typically involves student research, student projects, group projects, it may involve community members um, and other expert sources. They may be more interdisciplinary, more problem-based. Um, so it's a catch-all term for the types of collaborative learning um, that we try to do in the United States. I've known faculty in the social sciences who have had students um, work on research projects with them uh, around matters of fundamental economic or political importance um, and produce papers that would enter into a public dialogue with policymakers, decision makers, and um, private institutions as well. Uh, I have worked with students myself on community-based projects where students will uh, work with me to help a community partner, usually a non-governmental agency of some kind, facing issues of poverty or homelessness or environmental challenges, um, to um, try to help them in whatever endeavors that they're struggling with at, at the present time, um, usually through some form of research. Um, insofar as students are doing that, they become producers of knowledge with us. They learn how to practice our disciplines through research. Um, they learn how to apply theoretical concepts to real-world conditions. Um, they study in a case-based, problem-based way uh, a lot of the issues that face our society and them as citizens in the world beyond their college educations. Um, and so the relevance and the meaning that they gain from that type of work um, is greater. Their motivation is better. Um, and they're able, better able to do the higher order learning functions um, like synthesizing, analyzing, evaluating information, not just comprehending it and applying it as they might in a more traditional model. Um, so we think it's high impact and um, hel helps to reformulate what it is we actually do in higher education from consumer um, satisfaction to the co-creation of knowledge for broader purposes.